Let's go. It's the Chronicle. You're live with Tisha, Ali, and Elliot. We here. Yes, we are. Let's go. Y'all ready? Hey. Hey. Let's get it. Yo, we are back again. Hey. Another Lunchtime Chronicles. We switched the days up on them, though. No, just Surprise, for niggas. Taco Tuesday. We here. <laughs> Lunchtime Chronicles in the building. Hey, yo, I'm tonight's host. At the last minute, she said, yo, you hosting, so get on the mic and say what you say. Yes. You can find me on Facebook, Elliot Groover. Is that just how you're going to end? <laughs> oh, no. I mean, yo, that's it. I, was, I look right at you. Yo, like, yo, say your name. Tell the people who you are. Um, yes. Hey, everybody. How you doing? This is so awkward for me, but I'm Tisha. You guys can follow me on Instagram at Letitia Pittman Official. And how y'all doing? I'm Ali on Instagram. is just underscore Ali216. You know, I hope y'all ready for the show because we are. But dive straight in or what we doing? Yeah, we can jump right in. I'm going to have to take my jacket off, though. I I just bought it. I wanted to make sure I got it on camera first. I'm over here sweating hot as fuck. You got the tag on the seat? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to have to take it back, though. Hey, should them holler at me. Hey, listen, everybody, please do us a favor. Follow, like, and share the Lunchtime Chronicles. We have our main page, which you are viewing the show on today. And then we have our group page. We also have an Instagram, so go over to IG and follow us at the LTC Uncut. And while we have you guys and we have your attention, please throw up some hearts and some likes. We truly, truly appreciate it. And Lovely. share the show. Mm-hmm. I'm going to turn this back over to Elliot so he can do what he do. Yo, I'm struggling to get out that coat, though. It was the only one they had left. It was a size medium. Uh-huh. So I'm like, shit, I got to get it. But you know what I mean? <laughs> you can't button it up for nothing. So I'm like, all right, hope they ain't peeped that. Mm-hmm. Yo, we have a great show today, though. We're ready to jump in and talk about R. Kelly. Oh, what yeah. you think? Mm. Feeling on your booty, bump and grind. That's your boy right there. You had him in the finals when we did our, what was it, the, the like. R&B Royale? Yeah. yeah. He was one of your favorites. How yeah. you feel? Are you done with his music? Nah. You still doing it? You still? I mean, I'm not going to just go and outright, you know, pick a R. Kelly song to play because that's mood music. Okay. So I'm not going to be listening to it. And I'm what's, to, what's the mood? What you mean, what's the mood? It's. Like Mr. Nasty Time. Oh, All of his songs, though? Like, you can fuck that, I believe I can fly? No, not that one. I don't really like that one too much. Step in the name of love? No, I, that's, that's cool, but yeah, that's, I would pass. I never was an R. Kelly fan. Oh. I, I, I liked his music, but I would never like be like, yo, I got to... Like, I'm from the Jodeci era, which yes, is still that same Jodeci? era and everything like that, but it was more Jodeci for me Shout if I did to listen to R&B. Um, I like music Soul Child. Okay, music. Yeah, he really makes good music. For him not to have blown up like he did, he was kind of like one of my favorites if I ever was listening to R&B. Okay. Ali, what about you, though? Because you're from a different era. You're like from... They don't have any R&B people. Yeah, no. B2K? No. Fuck no. Who? So, like, who is in your list then? R. Kelly was good. He made that song, uh, was it Slow Wine? Is that what it is? Or grind on me, grind on me. That shit, that shit's a banger. That was the first song I got twerked to in a like a house party. <laughs> I ain't gonna never forget that. I appreciate you. So, how do you feel about his conviction, though? What type of time do you think he's gonna get? Cause this ain't life. I don't know. Like, I haven't been following it honestly. I just see what pops up on Instagram. Mm-hmm. I haven't really investigated into like what his conviction is and. Um, I saw that he was charged with um, a sex counts. ring or trafficking. 30 counts. So, um, I don't... Really, in mm. my personal opinion, I mean, if you were a fan of his, like, I like certain artists that may have done some things, like the, like the baby, for example. He killed somebody. Mm-hmm. And that's not going to prevent me from listening to his music. But there are a lot of people right now that's, like, trying to shut his music down from ever being played again. And it's like, all right, well, I get it. You know what I'm saying? He's touching girls. That, and that's the next question I really want to know. How do y'all feel about that? These girls were like 17, 18, 16, 17. They're ranged in a lot of teenage years, let's basically say. Some of them were underage. Do you feel like the parents knew what they were doing when they sent them with R. Kelly based off his past with Aaliyah? So being a mom of four girls, if one of my children... Um, took an interest in singing. I'm not leaving them with a producer. 
I'm not leaving them. So you wouldn't leave them with Big Dev? No. I mean, not saying that. <laughs> Big Dev, she don't trust you with the babies. But I'm just saying. Why she don't trust Big Dev with the babies? I'm not saying that he would Big try Big Dev, you can watch my kids, man. I'm not saying that he would try anything, but here's the thing. That's my kid. You know what, yeah. what I'm saying? So I have to be present to make sure that they aren't trying to make sound decisions on their own or hearing something that may coerce them to try something. You got to think, R. Kelly fame, I can be famous. Look what he did with Aaliyah. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to have the same thing. All right. So what if your daughter was like, but Ma, I want you to leave because she feels a little nervous here or you know what I mean? Like the parent overbearing nature thing maybe and she just want to do it without nobody else around that she knows so if she messes up, you know what I mean? I'm going to turn around. How about that? You mm. won't see my face. I'm not going to stare at you. I won't be a momager. But I'm not going to leave my children in the company of a man by himself and other men. Do you understand? Not even Method Man. I was yo low key was thinking First about that. I, I, I low key was thinking. I was hey, low key. Hey, I, I, I got it in my back pocket. M E T H O D. No, she ain't there saying no. She <laughs> just like don't <laughs> try no. it. <laughs> no, get the kid. Come get these kids. He, listen, it would just be me and Meth. That's it. No kids. Okay. Mm. Just leave it like that. Move off of Meth. Okay. Don't all right, come all right. for him. We respect Meth. Thank you. But with the type of time that he is facing, there is a lot. There are a lot of people that really never want to hear another R. Kelly song. And I can understand it, I get it, but I mean, that's his his music and what he does in his personal life. Do you think they should like coincide with each other? They've been trying to get R. Kelly for a long time. They yeah. started the whole mute R. Kelly movement. Like they weren't going to rest until they got a conviction yeah. and saw him behind bars for something that he did. Now what I have a a problem with is let's just say like a couple years ago, I posted a video of his ex-wife Andrea. Mm -hmm. And after it came out where she did the special, she was talking about how he treated her. He did this, he did that, but she's in the car with her new man and step in the name of love comes on and she's singing and she like, that's my baby daddy. Mm -hmm. Like I'm going to rock with him for whatever. And I'm just like, okay, so are you a victim or are you looking for your next paycheck? Yeah. It's you wh understand? Wh whoever, whoever's paying the most at the time is who she going to ride with. It was with the same one of the other girls who was in the documentary. I think her name was like Azriel or something. Yeah. She, for the longest time, was saying, yo, R. Kelly's not doing anything to us. I want to be here. Yo, he's a great man. He's a great provider. And now that the money, the well dried up, now she's on the other side of the fence. Like, yo, they told me to say this about him. And Hair is busted. Yeah. I've seen it. So I it's like. It. And I victim blaming anybody because, listen, listen, just at 13, we were exposed. And I'm telling my age a little bit, but we were exposed to artists like R. Kelly, um, Jodeci. Um, I, there's no reason why I should have been listening to Diary of a Mad Band <laughs> at 13 years old. You understand what I'm saying? Going to sleep with playing this music. So all of these words are coming in my head and I'm thinking like, hmm, you know, my mind is wondering. And then I'm looking at them because God, come on, look at Devontae. Like not now, but back then, you see what I'm saying? But the music is so much different now because back then, like Jodeci had Cry For You. You know, maybe Fiendin' was a sexual song. But now, like with Ali's generation, it's, I just fucked your hoe and paid a bill. Yeah. So it's like, at least when we grew up, it was a little romance with the songs. I can't think of one romantic song right now that's out on the radio. Mm -hmm. It's either, yo, I'm cheating, I'm planning on cheating, or I'm going to cheat. Like, yo, is what, like Ali, how do you feel about that? Like, does it desensitize you as far as being romantic with your woman because there's nothing that you can play that will set the mood right now that unless you have to go back to like early 2000s yeah that's probably what we'd do if we wanted to we'd go back but <laughs> <laughs> because of that reason though you know i don't really listen to music that much only oh, that's the main thing what the hell is you laughing about <laughs> <laughs> because i remember you said i'm not gonna listen to oh and hear another name 
Wait, wait. No, you said I'm not gonna listen to a song. <laughs> and then I finished. My- oh yeah, I was joking. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't yeah. trying to listen to no song. What if that bitch is a <laughs> little two minutes? Skip it, and I'm done. Like, <sighs> yeah, I ain't about to let her know the time frame. Well, yo, shit, listen, so. they're trying to get R. Kelly up out of here, but they're also trying to get Dr. Dre up out of here too. Mm-hmm, for what? He got invited to the Super Bowl. He I was with. Dr. Dre, Kendrick Lamar, a couple other people that Mary I'm probably... Jay. Mary mm-hmm. J. Blige, Some good people. Good yeah. people. Kendrick Lamar. Because of, of Jay-Z holding it down, right? Yeah. Who is that white man? Oh, is that Eminem? Yeah, yeah it could be Eminem. Eminem. It could that's be Slim Shady. Oh, okay. <laughs> he said, who is, who is that? It, it, it only could be Eminem if it's Dr. Right Dre right now. <laughs> Who's that white guy? Should Eminem be <laughs> in front Helen. of Kendrick? Should Eminem be in front of Kendrick? Yeah, I want to say Eminem is a hard-ass rapper. Like, lyrically... Really? I think so. I'm just really? Eminem is really good. I'm not saying. I'm just saying, he like, was you know. He really good, but he, I don't know. He, I'm not, I used to love him. Em was great when he first came out. It was a great, some great gimmicks that he had and everything. He was a white rapper that actually could rap. But then it just went to a different level where he's like, started sounding like cannabis. I don't know if y'all remember. Cannabis. Big Dad, you remember cannabis? Yeah, it was like he just kind of. I don't know if it was the drugs that he was on, but it started just becoming too mainstream for me. He was no longer that artist where it's like, oh, yo, I got to hear what Eminem has to say. Mm-hmm. Now he's on a song and I'm like, I got to fast forward what Eminem has to say. Oh. Real quick, so, before we go too far with it, uh, read these comments. Miss Lash- Maya LaShawn. Mia? Was it Maya? I don't know. Maya, I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong, but R. Kelly has always given off predator vibes to me. I just want to know, did you still listen to him? But I go ahead. Yo, I mean, I think we addressed that. I never really was a big fan. Uh, I believe I Can Fly was a, a good song. And Step in the Name of Love, but it was like three songs that sounded exactly like that. But I'm if it come on the radio, I'm going to still dance. That's not going to stop me. Mm-hmm. What about you? I told you what I'm going to do with the song. You're still going to, but you're not going to purposely play a song. I'm, no, not, in, not unless it's that time. I just feel like it's a little crazy, though, because like, uh, how it is, like when black people do something wrong or whatever, it's just so ostracized and so much in the media and stuff like that. Oh, pay, man, making it seem like he's just such a bad person. I mean, if you raping little kids, you are a bad person. Don't get me wrong. But I'm just saying, like, it's so crazy how it's getting that much attention. But somebody like, I don't, I don't know if I'm saying his name right, but Charlie Sheen. Mm-hmm. From, yeah, he had AIDS and was having sex has, with it. Still He's, has it. And they still oh, playing said, two and a half men on TV. Exactly. Yeah. Nobody's it, trying to he, shut two and a half men down. Exactly. He literally. That's interesting. Giving these people AIDS and still on TV making millions, but no, he's white and no one cares. And he said nobody. It's not like it's a big. Oh, he's on the media. Why is he doing this? He shouldn't be on TV. We shouldn't be watching his TV shows. No, it's just when it's a black person, it's way worse in the media and it's portraying like oh, he and that's it. the thing. I think I posted something about um, Elvis Presley. Elvis Presley married Lisa Marie Presley when she was fourteen, mm-hmm. and he was still an icon. He was still praised for, but it was because he was the right complexion. Mm. And so if you think about it, this is something that, and we're going to dive into this a little later because I'm going to be on my pro-black. But you have to think about it. I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save it. Gonna save it. Gonna save it. I gotta watch save it. The viewers gonna put, gonna put them on a cliffhanger like that. I gotta nah, save fuck it. Yeah. Elvis. We'll, we'll be right back it. after yeah. these. That's, that's the type of shit you Yeah, do. you feel like the commercial break. <laughs> I gotta save it. It's just about the, it's about power. It's about how white people have power over black people. And you look at how he's being railroaded. I'm thinking about, well, you know, what happened. I'm not saying that what he did, um, he should not pay for. But look, because of who he is, like they couldn't get Michael Jackson. They couldn't get Bill Clinton. They had to get somebody and stick it. Bill Clinton is out, okay? Why are you looking up like that? Oh, who did I say? Bill Clinton. Bill you Clinton. said, yeah, I was wondering, like, like yeah, yo, when she said Bill Clinton, I was following him. <laughs> I'm like, yo, look, is Bill oh, Clinton, like that. Is Bill Clinton Puerto Rican? I wasn't going to fight it. I knew what Bill she meant. Cosby. I'm just like, Ugh. I didn't know what she meant, though. Bill I was Cosby. thinking, like, is Bill Clinton black? Like, I get yeah, it. He no. comes but to the barbecue, but, yeah, but. so I'm just saying. So they, they had to have somebody prolific, a, a, a huge name, mm-hmm. to say we finally got one but of these niggas. But who was coming for him? What do you mean? Who was his own people? We're going to talk the, about that. We're going to talk about that, too. That's the real thing gonna right there. We're going to talk about that, too. 
because it wasn't really like, you know, like Sally from up the block or Karen or whatever they're calling and looking for R. Kelly. It was a black woman who made that documentary. Yeah. She's the one that sparked that. And that's I when you got to ask yourself, is it the crab in the bucket mentality? Well, we're going to talk about that. I've, you know, I, I'm going to just a little quick, little say about that. I mean, if, she, if that lady was raped and she made that documentary, uh, I mean, from a marketing standpoint, that's fucking brilliant on her. And, like, no, he's in the news for doing all this. If I make, if I, and Netflix takes everything, everybody know that. Hmm, if I shoot a pitch to Netflix, like, hey, I was one of those raped. Let's do a documentary and, you know, go but through the She wasn't and raped by him. She wasn't who? I don't know who did the documentary. I only it saw, was like, like, yeah, she didn't. I saw she... one black woman talking about it and it was this white. She had on some purple and she was just saying, like, I don't know how he had the time to do all this. I have no idea. I don't watch any of this shit, so I don't know. Well, speaking of Netflix, Malice at the Palace. Malice at the Palace. Oh, yeah. Wait. That was a documentary right now that we was talking about earlier where the Detroit Pistons and Indiana Pacers got into a big brawl. And it started off with Ron Artest, a.k.a. Metal World Peace, and I'm going to always call him Ron Artest. Yeah, me too. Ron Artest got into a fight with Ben Wallace. Yeah. And, big yo, it kind of shocked me that Ron Artest backed down, though, because he was always known to be a bully in the NBA. Right. And then Ben Wallace, who I think is from Cleveland. Big Dev, you know about that? He it's played ben at Tri C? Yeah, yeah, he, he played, played at, at Tri C. And he, he pushed the shit out of Ron Artest. Ron Artest backed down, went and laid down on the bench. It was kind of weird to me. And next thing you know, a fan threw something at him and he reacted. Yeah. And yeah. the media coverage for that, yeah. yo, they were just, these are thugs, these are hooligans. Yeah. How do you feel about that, Ali? Because you were just saying that, in one perspective, if Somebody threw something at Tom Brady and he reacted and he punched a fan in the face. Would he be considered a thug or a hooligan or would he oh, be no. Tom's just defending himself? Tom, yeah, that's against exactly this what they say. He, he only did that because he had all this animosity of the game. Maybe if they lost, they definitely could spin it that way. He just had a lot of animosity in that fan who should have never been near him. Yeah, we gotta yeah, control they that. that. We got to control that area of the game, letting fans get close enough to the players. Matter of fact, we're going to push the like, – Yeah, they're, 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 they're the COVID-19 the now. That's that the goal is of football six feet. right now. They're not about to talk down on Tom Brady right now. Like, uh, the game they just had, the Patriots was – I was listening to Sports Talk Radio because, as I said, I don't listen to uh, music all like that. But the Sports Talk Radio was saying that game was either the second or the highest NFL football game, like, view-wise ever. Like, majority of people was watching that shit. So, like, they not going to mess up that moneymaker like that and tarnish his reputation, especially when he just got a ring. No, nah, they they sit on that and not say nothing. But like you were saying, though, they wouldn't consider the him to be a hooligan. Mm-mm, not at all. They Maybe Le- if somebody threw something at LeBron and LeBron punched him in the face, what do you think side they'd be on? Because he's reached that that level of fame, or they're is he tearing, still black? They're tearing him down. They're can tearing I, LeBron can, down? Can I speak now? Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Um, I'm Angela Blacklist right now. Um, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> seriously, when I watched this, it broke my heart. Um, he laid down on the table because he was in therapy, and his therapist told him when he gets angry, lay that, find a place, go to a <laughs> corner. So lay down at the three point line. And lay down. He was oh, on man. the table. Though. <laughs> you ain't supposed to lay down there in the game. He laid down and he started counting. To calm himself down. And this is what he said. He calmed himself down. He, called, he better calm and, down with Ben Wallace. And as he was laying there trying to gather himself to get his head straight, he gets a bottle thrown at him. Mm-hmm. Now, what was messed up was the fact that when the bottle was thrown at him, he jumped up and ran in the crowd. And unfortunately, he hit the wrong person. Oh, the, person the person that he hit had nothing to do with it. Uh, it was the person who grabs him on video who's trying to pull him off of the other person that actually threw the bottle. So the media called them thugs, said that, um, you know, should they have this much money and the NBA needs to reevaluate this. And they literally did reviews of tapes to find out who this man was. There was even a, a Puerto Rican or Mexican guy who walked on the court. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. he flinched at Metal World Peace, and he swung and hit him. Yeah, yeah. So he figured, oh, I'm going to get some money because this NBA player just hit me. They charged him. They charged the Mexican dude? They charged the Mexican. Hey, but guess what they did here, with the Jose? white man who threw the bottle at him? 
had him on numerous ass interviews oh, yeah. asking, how does he feel about this um, horrific um, fight, malice that he caused at the, at the damn palace? Mm. And he didn't get charged with anything. We want to know why? Because somebody who was there who physically knew this man because he had money and he was a white man. Mm. So now this whole thing is centered around the image of black men. You can't get along. Look at them. They thugs and hooligans. Look at their hair. Now we got to instill a dress code. But we tell them all the time, if somebody does something and throws something that you don't react, and then you got them walking back to the uh, locker room and people throwing beer, throwing cups, how the yeah. hell are you expected to keep your cool and this stuff is happening to you? I don't care how much money you make. They lost a lot of money with that, too. And it's just like, you know, how it always been. Uh, whip on the back and you bet not complain. And how dare you want something different for yourself? I mean, and then I was just thinking about this when you was talking, like, at the end of the day, they are iconic people and, you know, you could get inspiration from them. But they're getting paid millions of dollars for a child's game. Like, these niggas ain't professors. They ain't no... Outstanding, you know what I mean? Like they ain't nobody where we gotta idolize them. Like they are human, just like everybody else. Like if you telling me if somebody just walked up to you and smacked you, you not gonna do nothing. Right. Why do you think they won't? Just cause some like they're playing on TV. Like they're still human. You are gonna treat them with respect, and when you don't treat them with respect, you see what happened. It's just unfortunate he didn't hit the the right guy. And and, and my thing is so, Metal World Peace was taken out of he couldn't play Title the rest of the meant. season yeah, correct oh yeah he was going then for a you time. have i think i want to say his name jermaine o'neal he was suspended for like 25 games he didn't even hit nobody but he slipped as he was going to hit somebody mm -hmm. and they still took him out for 25 games he had to go in front of a judge to plead his case and they were like well you technically you didn't do anything so you can go back to the game and they were <coughs> excuse me there was one other guy <coughs> Excuse me. Steven Jackson. The white man? No, Steven Jackson. Oh, you the black that. guy. Yeah, Steven yeah. Jackson. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. He gangsta. I think he yeah. got he suspended gangsta. for like Actually, all three of them, no. Yeah, all three gangsta. of them, is, you know what I'm <coughs> saying? They, they, get, they get busy. They jump off the porch. He got suspended for 42 games, and they had to go in front of the judge, and they had to plead, and they had to fight. <coughs> Excuse me. Is that, I'm excited. <coughs> go no, ahead. No, you good. <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> you ain't got no, you ain't got no water. <coughs> oh my god! You ain't got no water. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, everybody. I apologize. That was so unprofessional. Nah, you good? It's live. Hey, you are human. Yeah. Right. Somebody <laughs> throw water on her. Right. No, don't throw water <laughs> on me. No. But anywho, you know. So here it is that they have to, first of all, plead their cases and put their lives in the hands of again white people with power. Yo, I never even considered. Like what you're saying, where you're going with this, I never thought about the the ramifications off of the court. Like I just knew they got suspended for games. <coughs> I knew that they got they lost a lot of money, but they could have went to jail. They yeah. could they could have did real time for this. This is like yo inciting a riot. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm missing, but hey, hold on, wait, 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 <laughs> hold on, wait, let me I just know, comment. Right? Like so you just said entitlement. We just said. Laugh my ass off his face when she coughed. Right. And it's funny because I saw a teacher slowly reading the comments. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and she read that way and looked at me like, oh. That's right. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. Right, it was funny. just something. I was going to get her know. some water, Saida. She said she good. Or I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm I, good now. I don't have any water. So. But, okay, go ahead. So, what were you saying? Oh, I don't know what just happened there. Turn, but give me the phone. Turn the volume down and start. Hey, yo, and she talking. talked about my phone earlier, too. <laughs> I was trying to get into the comment section also. But... It's it's, right there. There's serious situations like after after they lost all the money, they're banned from basketball for a few years or for a limited amount of time. Yeah, they still had to go to court. Yeah, they could have went to jail. They yes. could have went to prison. This yes. this was more serious than we're just saying. Oh well, he's not playing basketball. This is their livelihoods. They're not yeah. going to be around their family, maybe possibly for a while. They could have really went and did some time. Definitely, definitely. And then that's another thing that bothers me is because here you have. People, because if you look at the crowd from the picture, and if you go and look at any other video footage, the crowd was predominant, well, down on the bottom area, because, you know, most... It's money. It costs money in them seats, yeah. and it's a lot of white people. That so you, that's who you see. So these people are idolizing you. They look up to you. Oh, my God, I love you because you're bringing us a championship, and we just praise you. But then all of a sudden, something happens 
you are no longer our hero. Mm-hmm. You just another black monkey. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow, monkey. I'm serious, because that's what they think, okay? Die a hero or live long enough to be the villain. Yeah. Yeah. So you are, you're not Good the movie. victim. You are the villain in this situation. You are no longer looked at as, oh, my God, this is somebody who was making the ABC commercials and on Sesame Street. You are another thug who got some money, and you don't know how to act. So we done with you. When he changed his name to Metal World Peace, you seen how the media was clowning him. <coughs> the media, Mm-mm. oh, my bad. The media is just <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. The, the power that they have to change the perception of millions is very concerning. Just think about it. Like a lot of people don't know this. Um, back in the day, uh, you know, 1800s or whatever, um, white people start realizing that black people were making a lot of money off of watermelons. Then white people to figure out, huh, how can we stop them from making all this money and put it back in our pockets? Oh, let's put this in the media that, oh, all black people love watermelons and eating it all like that. And that's when that came from, because they realized they were making money. They put it in the media, whatever the media they had back in that day, you know, the little postcards, stamps, whatever, pictures and stuff. Oh, look, mm-hmm. these black people love watermelon. Look how they eat. Just throw a watermelon at them. And look, and it turned us off of, well, I don't want to be roped in with this stereotype of that's all we do and stuff. And then they just start seeing the uh, profits of black people diminish. Boom. And now we don't have any, I don't wow. know, you know what I mean? A lot of people don't know stuff like that. It's just like yeah. right now in the world is 256 white men that control with 320 million people on this American, kind of, you know, see. So like, and that's mm. the thing that makes me so angry is because we don't know the potential that we possess. And that's why I was talking about the power. And I had a question that I asked yesterday and I want to ask you all this. <clears throat> How does white racism adversely affect blacks today, back then? I mean, it's a lot of ways. Policing, schooling, education, housing. I actually saw a video on TikTok that was talking about this. She was saying, like, it was a group, a conference. It's a lot of white people, black people as well. And she was just like, uh, who believes that there's white racism? You know, people raise their hand. Who believes that there's black racism? People raise their hand. And then she was like, well, okay. Um, now, I agree that there could be prejudice on the black people's side, but black mm-hmm. people can't be racist. Right. And then sh- there was like, somebody was like, how, well, how is that? And she was like, well, okay, let's think of the ways that white people can, whatever, if their hatred can control the lives of black people as a group. Not mm-hmm. just, you know, anecdotal one person. Like, how can white people control with their racism the whole group? And then they were saying education, police, and all these other things. And then they say, okay, how about let's reverse it? What can the black racism and hatred stop a white person from doing? And it was silence. Mm-hmm. And she was like, yeah, exactly. That's why y'all can't think of anything because it's no such thing as black racism. It's a black prejudice. But racism, they can't stop you from doing anything. You can, no matter, how, she was like, no matter how much I hate you, you can still go to the bank and yep. apply for a loan. Yep. I can hate you to the bank. And then people start laughing. And she was like, exactly. It's no amount of hate that I could do that can stop you from getting into a college. There's no amount of hate I could do to stop you from getting in a job. There's no amount of hate I could do that can stop you from, you know, doing whatever you want to do. You know what I mean? And then it's just crazy how it is. And it's just crazy. So y'all seem like y'all believe in white privilege. But mm-hmm. I'm sure there's some white people that can't get a loan and can't get into certain Facts. colleges and everything. It's definitely not just because you're white, you're going to get the loan. Oh, 100%. I mean, I agree. I don't even know if it would increase their chances because it's, it, nowadays it's basically affirmative action <coughs> starting to yeah affirmative action starting to be hard for white men ain't that great <clears throat> yeah yeah but we're gonna switch this up a little bit we don't got real serious and everything let's I'm let's gonna let's, get angry yeah yeah genius. yeah let's let's yeah. loosen our collars and everything <laughs> like that let's take it to the ltc uncut, uncut question okay. oh Okay. Now we had two questions. Are we gonna do both of them? I feel like we should just do yours. Keep going off a clip until we hit our time. Yeah. Frame. You know what I mean? We got 30 more minutes. Let's just run them off. All right, well, let's go with your question first. Yeah. Make sure y'all comment and yeah, talk. Throw I'm some hearts up to too. all this. Yeah, let's see some hearts, some likes. And when y'all put something on here, I'm gonna read it off. We're gonna answer it. Yes, because I had Respond. somebody say last night. Ali likes to pick and choose the comments, and he doesn't read everything. So just make sure you own the ball tonight. I went to public schooling. I don't read the hard comments. Okay. All right. Yeah, but let's just get that out there. All right. All right. So what's the uncut question? You can start it off with, with it first. Oh, you want you had a real good question. That was I really did. Good. Was really so good. my question, and this is for everybody in the feed, too. Please throw your responses. But before you do that, 
Shout out to DMST Studios. I forgot this. We Well, we're at that marker where we mentioned them. We are here at DMST Studios. Um, does Do you have your microphone plugged where you can do the... See? Hello? Your teacher ain't doing this job right. Yeah, he in there on lounge <laughs> right now, but I, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. So shout uh, out to DMST Studios. Who yeah. are you? I'm a DJ Brainstorm. Uh, I'm one third of DMST Podcast, and I uh, want to thank y'all for doing y'all show up here and everybody that's tuned in on y'all show. But this is DMST Studios. Obviously, we do everything from our podcast, DMST Podcast. Uh, we do shows like you all, LTC Uncut. We have a new show that is coming up that'll be um, recording out here tomorrow. So reach out to us on um, on Facebook or Instagram, DMST Boyz for all your recording needs. Hey. Great job. We're going to have to keep you on. <laughs> Y'all throwing shots at Big Dev. That is that is unwarranted. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're over oh, <laughs> I ain't saying nothing, Dave. Okay, so my uncut question was, could you switch phones with your partner for the day? For the day? For the I day. I thought it was like two minutes or no, so. No, for that's, the day. That's the thing. That's why I was like, I can't do it. Like, let me. Let me say this first. I ain't got shit to hide. But no, like everybody <laughs> hey, be like, we ain't got nothing. But no, hide. like I just can't do that. That's a that's a long time for a whole day. Like you need you got people that text you. I got people that text me. You know, what if my mom need me? Now if we gonna be together and you just got my phone and I got yours, it is like I don't really care about that because we right next to each other. If it was an emergency, I can have my phone and handle what I gotta do. But like if nothing gonna happen and whatever, yeah, like I don't a whole day is just crazy. Like if you need it for 30 minutes, 40 minutes, like sometimes I give my phone my uh phone my girl and she'd like go whatever uh, plug it up the tv and we'll watch something off of it like i don't be tripping about that but a whole day that's just that's ridiculous ridiculous hey, yo we going down the line well y'all ain't hear that gulp i mean i don't have nothing again. to hide but um yeah i don't think so <laughs> i have unless I can lock my social media because, you know, people are reckless nah, in the it's DMs. Your whole phone, though. Right? It's your phone. Go ahead. Do you. The I mean, I would that. be fine with it. I would just have to delete Facebook Messenger off my thing because people just, from time to time, will throw messages on there. Yeah, so, I, ain't, I don't, like, yeah, I don't, I don't respond. Messages. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I saw. Yeah. yeah. It'd be some bullshit. People from different countries. Yeah. Up there, like JGD, all these weird letters, and Dan. Some weird mm, yeah. But yo, I mean, your husband would understand. Like, okay, no, this guy's understand. in Nigeria. Mm -mm. It, don't it don't matter. It don't matter. I used to have people Facebook, FaceTime call me. Yo, guys would just straight yes. up call. Like, and never spoke one to guy, let, literally, life. hand to God, no lie. I answered it. He was like, answer it. And the guy was jacking off. No. Nah. Swear to God. I swear to God. Hey, yo, there's some real weird. It is. Out here. It that, is. That's a fetish for some people. Like, it yo, is. nigga just answered the phone. Like, have y'all been talking and you asked him, to, how did he even get to that level where he was that comfortable doing I that? I didn't. Like, so look, I swear on everything, I will show y'all when we leave. No, I'm but, good. no, seriously. No, not that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to show yeah, you I'm that. Good. I'll show you my message. Like, don't like, forget to show me the jerk off video. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'll show you my, my inbox. And so, people, so. A couple years ago, I just randomly started getting all of these followers. And okay. then my I remember just, that. just kept going, just kept going. Every single day I was getting following, following, Shout out following. to LTC, Yanka. Okay. Yeah, shout out to LTC. And they would watch the show. And so they would say, like, random things, talking about my, you know, top half. And um, just a lot of things. Ali was like, whoa. Like, because it would be live on the show. So they would also send messages. And so the reason why I say... It has to be about business only. It's because a lot of people will send messages that aren't pertaining to business. Mm. Okay. So, um, yeah, so we were laying, we were in the basement, and my phone kept going off. And he was like, what the fuck is that? What's, yeah. And I'm like, is somebody keep FaceTime, face, Facebook, face calling me? So he's like, answer it. So when I answered it, dude was. <laughs> was he mad? He just told me to block it. I told him, I said, I can't. Like, these people are just coming out of nowhere. Wow. So, so what about you, married man? Yo, we're going to, um, we can answer that, but I do want to see what the audio is. I got you. I'm going to respond to them right after <laughs> you. I want to see what they're saying as far okay. as what, they, what they're doing. All right. Well, that. don't don't you forget you next. Right. Oh, no. I mean, I can, I can jump right into <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, go ahead. At I this got, present I time, I got two phones. So, yeah, she can take that phone all day. Yeah, what if she want both? In a, in a if she want both. <laughs> 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 no, um, 
At this point in time, yeah, she can she can take my phone. It's not nobody calls me. My phone's super dry. My phone back mine is too. Shit, I got an iPhone seven. I'm nobody calls me. It's like it's either my job. My moms don't even call me. Shit is crazy. Like my phone just sits there some days, and I don't think it would be an issue with either of us switching phones. Uh, prior to this though, back when I was like a big cheater, like yo, nah, there was. I used to be scared when. Like shorty, I was with play a game on my phone. Like she, we watching something. She want to see something on YouTube. I'll be scared. Like, come on, please. Nobody the notifications that come uh-huh. off and everything. That's how my husband used to be. Like he, that's a scary feeling yeah. when your girl got your phone yeah. and you know because you don't know she can come. You don't know. That's like looking yeah. at that pregnancy test. You just waiting like, yeah. Right. yeah. What? yeah you just, still, like, hey, let me play this word oh, for okay. you. You know what I mean? But oh yeah, he used to do like this. He would hold his like if his yeah. mom called. I, and she I still wanted to find talk myself me, doing that. He would hold his phone and have it on speakerphone and be like, "Go ahead and talk." And I'm like, "Give me the phone. Like, why yeah. are you holding on to the phone?" Right, he used read. to put his phone in his pants at night, put it in the pillowcase. I'm like, nigga, See, that's a that's, red flag. Yeah, like, and what that's, you... that's a hard yeah, thing you gotta I, break out of because yeah. those, like you said, women aren't slow. They know, like, all right, nigga, why you got your phone? Under your pillow, right? You know what I mean. Why your battery off? You know what I mean. <laughs> Why right. your battery out your phone? Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> you know what I mean, if you if you are gonna do some bullshit, it really, I'm not suggesting it, but you really, yo, second cheap phone is like ten dollars, twenty phone. dollars. Second yeah. cheap phone, or how about designated hours of the day when you can talk. Mm, All right, know. so real quick, let me read these and we could dive back into that. Designated hours of the day? Like, <laughs> yeah, my like, business what? hours are nine right. to five. I either say, yeah, why not? Nothing to hide. I believe in being open and transparent so my partner shouldn't see anything or come across oh, anything that I haven't already go. told him. I'm going to get you a story to tell. Keep reading. With the understanding, I can't control what other people type in my DM as long as I'm not entertaining them. <clears throat> Miss LaShawn said, that's happened to me. Just a random dude called me on Messenger. Saida came back and said, people are truly weird out here and have absolutely no chill behind their actions. Yeah, because they're on mm-hmm. the internet and they can get away with it. Yeah. Now, here's the situation that I'll be fucking up with. Now, let's say you go through your husband's phone and you see he watch porn on his phone. Mm-hmm. How would you feel about that? A long time ago, I had an issue with it. Not yeah. now. We'll watch it together. Okay. Hey. Yeah, because that's... That's that was I didn't clear my search history, <laughs> so I ain't have no new chicks in there. Hey, no, hold on, hold on. Some other shit in there. Mo been quiet this whole time. So he said something about porn. He was like, yeah, 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 yeah. Get yeah. yeah. your hands out your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> I heard say all I heard was yeah. So it's, like, it's not like the like call logs or messages or DMs or nothing like that. But there is sometimes an issue with. Maybe there was like some porn in my search history, some bullshit that I yeah. looked at, you know what I mean? And then she feels some kind of way like, all right, what the fuck is this? I definitely feel like if you're in a relationship, you have to be secure with your partner because <laughs> watching porno can prevent you from doing a lot That's of things. That's what I was about to say. Like, what is like, what is the worst? Like, he's not out like, okay, funny, because literally yesterday <laughs> or two days ago, this happened. My girl had my phone because uh-huh. I don't care. Gave her my phone, but in my recent search history, it was some in there. It started with a P and an H, and it had a <laughs> yellow little box. If y'all know what that is, I ain't got to say nothing. Yeah. So a little theme to do. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's that's why I, I was, you know, I was. No, what's yeah, the Pornhub theme? I don't know why you point that. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, I just felt like you knew right off the top. <laughs> but, <laughs> of course, you would know. How's it going? <laughs> Yeah, you know it's about to be lit. Dude, look how I'm happy I got when we start talking about so, porn. So, yeah, like it's me. Yo, my face smiling and shit. Like, okay, go ahead. Go so, ahead, so yeah, ahead. she just saw that, and I thought she was going to trip about it, but she was like, you just need to clear your search history. And I'm like, yeah, it is what it is. Like, mm. it, it keeps you from, you know, not doing that. And then, you know, I don't do that that much anyway, but, like, sometimes you just got to do that as a guy. Like, you need your alone time, like. Oh, I mean, and y'all men, want, I respect want me to that. Keep and this gangster with y'all well, real go quick? ahead and tell yours because I got a story to tell. I got caught like two days ago watching what was some bullshit. Man, <laughs> I thought, I thought she was you asleep. I thought it you was like <laughs> three in the morning. My dumb ass learned how to do the screen mirroring on the TV. Oh no! You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. The screen mirrors. I was, I used to be comfortable with my little phone. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. My dumb ass turned it on the screen mirror. The TV lit. You know what I mean? Sixty. Fucking up, I'm ready. 
Ooh. She come out the room like before I even got started, I had just found the scene. Like, all right, that's the one. It takes a minute. And next thing you know, she come right out. I couldn't get it off the TV <laughs> fast enough. With my phone, you can just keep, you know what I'm saying, click your button twice, but the shit was on the screen. It was like, all right, I'm caught, fuck it. Real real quick. Does it take a minute to find? Yeah. The oh, one? Yeah, I was, yeah, I was, yeah. I used to be yeah. like back when I was younger when I first started going to porn, the yeah. first video. Oh, I'm hooked. Gotta keep clicking, but now keep I just clicking, be like, oh, this clicking. ain't it. Yeah. You know, this ain't I mean, it. Like, then I do the thing where you hold it a little bit and give you a 10 second <laughs> preview. <laughs> like, ah, this. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure. Okay. All right. I'm like a vending machine. Like, I don't want to. So that. Here's, my, that. here's my embarrassing moment. Um, I went and upgraded my phone last week. Mm-hmm. And. The guy told me, he was like, well, your stuff is not going to transfer over. I'm like, yeah, I'm fine with that. No problem. So I left, went to Beachwood Mall, came back because they had to port my number o- or switch my number over. Well, he had the internet open. And I didn't think that my stuff was going to transfer. And let's just say um, triplex.com was sitting in the... Um, Shit. Okay, okay, look. Triplex vids.com so oh yeah that's, a, that's another brow. one spicy big butt tube is another one as well real quick i, got I was embarrassed because i was like bro did he see this like please don't judge me well, at least it You're wasn't human. you though it was something that you was watching at least it wasn't like some homemade shit. oh no Mm-mm. they probably do you think they keep shit like that what if they transfer on your phone they can see those i low-key be thinking oh. that though i low-key <gasps> think how will get you but let me can i say this though like so there was a period of time where yo hold on if you got a nigga jacking off while he facetiming you Let's say he works at a phone store. Uh-huh. Yo, he would definitely send your videos to his phone. Oh, no, I would yeah. never send. Yeah. Oh, be oh, careful. so like saying taking my phone. Yeah. Okay, so you should not be my husband office. would go and check my history on my phone, and mm-hmm. he would click on what I would look at. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I'd be like, I would be embarrassed. Like, but, bruh, like, hey, I mean, I. So, eh. Real quick, let me read these comments. Say to say, how about. Don't be in a relationship. Okay, we right away. Who cares? Or watch it could teach you some things too. Real quick, Saida. You saying watch it could teach you some things, but I want to know, would you feel a certain type of way if he your dude was saying, hmm, bae, you should try it like this, how she does it? No, because we've watched videos together of some I mean, if it's a form of teaching somebody how you want to be pleased. So how what better way than to show them an example of how somebody it's being done? And then, I mean, because I've gotten videos sent to me at work. Like, check this out. Okay. Let me, I got a question for y'all, but let me read this. Really. <laughs> Shit. Hell yeah, it takes a minute to different categories. Aja, my baby, just gave me the faces. You should not be. Okay. Me, it said Tasty Black. So he said he recorded with his phone and not at all. Okay, quick question. MO, you can feel free to answer if you want to. But what is the weirdest thing that you looked up? <laughs> Yeah, and right. look, it, I'm not just saying you looked <laughs> yeah, up to right. be like, uh, whatever, but like you looked it up and you, yeah, you right. did something to it. Not just because you can look up some weird <laughs> shit. Like I even looked up some bullshit. Uh, what is it called? Well, you answer. Yeah, go ahead. You first started then. off. Well, look, I'm saying like I, I answer, but like I, I'm not saying look, what's the crazy stuff like that you just happen to Google just be on some weird shit. Like it's something called animal art, whatever. It's like dogs, <laughs> fucking women. No, I didn't see that. I, I couldn't. I that. couldn't do none of that. But yo, some, we should play the drinking game. I'd be like. <laughs> <laughs> some of them I did just get into, yeah. and uh, if y'all midget gangbang, if y'all, you know, I I I, I did something to this because it was weird. Yeah, I, never, I never tried this before. I never did it in real life, but I mean, I never saw this category, so I was like, oh shit, this something. Di- oh shit, this is a little different. And you know, it got my juices flowing. Uh, but shout this. out to the show Dave on Hulu. If y'all know what, if y'all watch that, but um, it's called Milking Porn. Milking? Do, do anybody know what milking porn? No. no. Okay, let me explain what milking porn is. So there's a table Yo, like back. A, I gotta hear this. It's, it's a table like a, <laughs> it's a table like a masseuse thing. Yeah. A masseuse table. So the guy lays on it, puts a sheet that goes like on the outside, so he's laying on a sheet. There's a hole for his penis. Like a glory oh, hole. Yeah, glory. It drops down. Uh-huh. There's a woman under there, sucking it. Dragging off, like whatever she could do with oh, it. Oh wow! Like milk. Okay. Ali, I got, I got to confess, I've seen that one before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I was like, hey, yo. It's, yeah, it's called the milking table or something yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. Like, yeah. Big dad <laughs> around the corner. Hey, listen, little like, son. Got milk. Like, <laughs> big dad with his milk cup out. <laughs> all right, yo, that that stays between us and LTC people out there. You yo. know, that's just us. But yeah, you know, I I, I saw that y'all just like. Ah, okay. You know, it's, it's my turn. Yeah, sure. I, I'm a pervert, so All I don't right. look at everything like, damn, yeah. what's wrong with me? So, I watched 
a transgender woman and a man. So, you know, a transgender woman is a man. Yeah, you just watch gay porn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You got simplified. Yeah. I did. Yeah. I did. All because right. I was trying to. Hey, no, and hey, it was, oh, and what was porn. crazy was it was a black trans woman with a long okay. shaft and the Chinese men, man with a, <laughs> a Vienna sausage. <laughs> okay. But you would think that. <laughs> because she was the woman or he was the woman that it would have been happening to him, her and her but she he was actually the one that Man, was giving damn. it okay. it's now, so fucked up how our english yeah. is changed because of this <laughs> shit now like <laughs> but you gotta be careful though because they got them letters ts what and the if hell you, is a TS? That stands for transsexual, but oh. if you fuck around, click TS, and you don't know that shit stands for trans. <laughs> oh, shit, I got to really clear my history now. So I'm I did, done with porn for the night. I did watch that <laughs> because I was curious to see, like, yeah. and let's just say she, he was tan that Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> you watch <it>. Rush Hour. <laughs> the porn. <laughs> Yo, God, sorry, Jackie. That's, so, oh, That's hilarious. All right, shit. share. Um, I've, man, Rush man. <laughs> I, like one popped in, but let me think. I've seen the bestiality. Yeah, bestiality <laughs> porn might be the wildest shit, though. I've seen, yo, it was crazy. This lady was just. But not like the wildest you've seen. What's the wildest that you could get off to? Something that you was like, okay. Oh, that, no, I didn't get off to that. I'm sorry. That's why I was like, all right. Okay, now I, okay. So oh, we, I got yo, off we can't to. tell people that now. Oh, Come okay. on now. Well, we, then go to the worst. It's too close okay. to Sunday. Go to the words. No, but it um, is <laughs> <laughs> yo, I, only me and Jesus know what I done seen. Oh Lord, <laughs> I done seen some things with this Pornhub shit though. They should have never put that on. Remember, we used to have to buy the little videos and magazines yeah. and everything, but now it's just so accessible. You can type anything in your search yeah. engine, and that shit will pop up. Like, guy fucks. Um, lady at the back of the bus. The next thing you know, there's a nigga just smashing the chick in the back of the bus. I would watch that. But the um, yeah, that's what I'm <laughs> yeah. <laughs> see what I mean? <laughs> like nineteen. Like I, I said, no. go ahead. So what the, did you see? I've seen bestiality porn where the lady was. It was like in Brazil or something. She was alright too. She was fake cold. Like alright, this little bitch is over there with the German shepherds, and yo, oh, they man. knew what it was. The dogs knew what they, it was. The dogs knew what it was. <laughs> well, they were like this bitch back again. Alright, man, fuck it. Put your dog dick in the mouth and. This bitch did what she did with them dogs. With and I'm dog? With dogs. They gang banged it. I'm like, That's yikes. Nasty. But I can't lo, believe. But, but can I say I'm something? Hard. Can I say something? <laughs> 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 That's how that shit was like, yo, what's wrong with me? Yo, do I... Like, do I need to go to church? What the fuck am I into? I got it, yo. I ain't do that yo. <laughs> but can I share something, though? Because I need to get this off my chest. Yeah, fuck it. We here now. Okay. And, and listen, y'all. This is a safe space, okay? So no judge. This ain't no safe space. I'm in trouble when I get home. <laughs> so <laughs> she watch my it. husband has this dog named Dog, right? Or Man, we call you... it Outlaw. Oh, let's continue. So <laughs> he... Wait, so what's going on? He, <laughs> mates, listen, he mates the dogs, and sometimes outlaw they crave human flesh? couldn't get no, couldn't oh. get on top of the female dog. So he would a process is for them to jack the dog off. You tell me. Hey, yo, wait a minute. No, no. What's so going he got. On I'm serious. Story? I'm serious. Yo, listen. what the fuck? <laughs> no, I'm gotta serious. Cut the show. So got to I'm cut trying the to show. tell you. Hold on. Listen. <laughs> listen. So listen. There's a plat. He- <laughs> Joe Budden said he does that. Yeah. Yeah, but they oh, they got on they got on they got on his ass about that. Listen, him. But let me tell you. So fuck. what happens is is Over. that. Okay, so what happens is, is when because I've seen this, so when the dogs mate, they actually tie together because the the dog's nut sack swells up and it has to take him a minute for um, Mm -hmm. it to go back down and for his shaft to go back up, right? Mm -hmm. So I watched him and I'm just watching him jack this dog off and then next thing I know, yeah, I was watching it. I was curious. I mean, I'm just watching what was going on. Like, just in case okay. something happened and we got, I'm not going to do it. Did you light a candle? I ain't light no damn candle. I was just sitting on the computer, but it, <laughs> I turned around and looked. 
So anyways, so as he's doing this, he's got so the plastic. So your husband is jerking the dog off. Yes. Are they looking in each other's <laughs> eyes? The two hands. No, he's behind. <laughs> he's, like... he's behind. <laughs> he's behind the dog. Oh, he's behind the dog. The reach around. <laughs> he gave him the reach around. Listen. Hey, yo, shotgun. <laughs> Tell somebody else this story, man. Listen. Yeah, listen. Oh, listen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Wait, wait, oh, let me fuck. finish. No, yeah, no, let me finish. Oh, man, you got kids. So, my kids don't watch this. Yeah, but Seriously. still, they don't need to know they dad duck jerking dogs Listen, no, because, off. no, for real, he, this is what he does. He's a dog breeder. So, this is a practice when oh, the dogs can't get shit. on top of the other dogs. So, anyways, after he finished, right, the dog was stuck. Remember I said that their shaft, they're normally connected. Mm -hmm. So, he wasn't connected anymore, and he is ejaculated into a plastic um bag or whatever and then he takes a a, a syringe and then pulls the no, sperm from there wow. and inserts it in the female dog to impregnate her right well the dog was still walking around with his stuff hanging and when i say the shit was like super long i had to focus on the computer screen because it threw me off like i've never seen nothing like that before but it was still just hunched walking and it was just you know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah, I got so dick. I, I just yeah. I yeah. just had to share that because oh, yeah. I felt That's like I was traumatized from that. I yeah. appreciate that, that was hilarious. <laughs> Y'all both just hit me with some bangers. Mm -hmm. That was funny because he sounded one hard. I ain't ever think he'll do the old reach around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <man>. With outlaw. <laughs> That's why we uncut. <laughs> That's why we uncut. Right. You never know what the oh, fuck we gonna say on here. All right, so yo, I don't know if we wrapping up time or is it time for uh, the LTC Uncut question? It is the LTC Uncut question, but you had the question. Yo, and it actually tied into everything that we were just talking about okay. because my LTC Uncut question is, it have you ever fantasized about someone else while you're having sex? Now, it doesn't have to be with the current partner that you're with, but during a period of sex, have you ever had the fantasy of someone else? And I say that because... Um, the other day, my wife and I were watching something on TV, and a guy came on, and she was like, oh, my. Like, and she didn't even catch that she said, oh, my, out loud. Mm. And then she tried to play it off like, you see her dress? And I just sat there for a minute, like, yo, you get the oh, my for the Colin Kaepernick-looking nigga. You know what I mean? She just busts out laughing. And I'm like, yo, I'm comfortable with it, whatever. But would she ever fantasize about that and do women fantasize and I'm, do men fantasize and that's that was my ltc uncut question have you ever thought of someone else during the time you're having sex with someone oh yeah me first yeah yeah okay. yeah um it it probably, also real time. shit it probably happened but like i can't think of like recently like at least like my last two exes no but maybe in college because i was Savage in college. I was fucking a lot of shit. So I probably was just like, oh, the girl I had recently was better than her. You know what I mean? So I probably did, but like. So now, do you use a playback reel from your own experiences or do you go to porn I mean, scenes? Oh, some real shit. I don't even, like, when I'm in a thing and I'm. I just literally go to fucking the feeling of me, nothing. And then I play it back every fucking nut. I'll be like, okay, that was not right. And it just, like, all hit me down. I'm like, all right, now nah, I can. Nah. And I'll be good. You know what I mean? I just. I you know, I don't be thinking about other people. I think about the end result. Like, damn, I'm trying to get this nut. How can I get it? What was that feeling like? Oh, shit, that was that feeling. Am I feeling it? Oh, shit, it's coming. <sighs> <Okay>. <laughs> I'm done. All right. You know yeah, I, want, I want I want uh, his, his response, too. Yeah. You involved now. Um, honestly, man, um, I don't really. You mean, like, if I'm with somebody, am I thinking about somebody else while I'm with her? Like, right at that time. Like, during the sexual intercourse, have you ever, like, if you're watching a porno or something, and then you, and you, you're both watching a movie, mm. and then you start envisioning the person that's on the screen, or maybe an ex or something like that? Nah, not too much. No, not really. But, I, I mean, I I think men, a lot of times, is, is kind of focusing on just trying to get to that point, or, or trying to make sure that they're not getting to that point too fast. Um, okay. so and that's it, the worst it, thing. yeah, and so to me, I feel like it's a level of concentration that stay with that, that kind of keep you from, from going too far. Um, but usually if I'm, if I'm with somebody, I'm kind of, I kind of stay in that moment for, at least I try to for the most part. Okay. And uh, real quick, you know, uh, we'll go ahead. I'll let you ask this. Mm -mm, I see clouds of blue and clouds Skittles. Of green, <laughs> red roses too. <laughs> 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 oh, man, 
Big Dev, you want to answer? Oh, yeah, they're asleep. Yeah, they're watching dog porn. <laughs> Who is that milking tables? <laughs> Can you get it on eBay? I think without a shadow of a doubt, you have to uh, got to go there sometimes. Long time ago, long, long time <laughs> long, ago. Long, long time ago, long. But yeah, you got to, man. You know what I mean? I it's mean, like, right. hey, is it a bad thing though if you do that? Would you feel some kind of way if you found out that your partner was thinking of someone else while they're having sex with you? I mean, see, that's what I'm saying. We it's so crazy how the world <laughs> is. Like we're. I mean, it's not crazy, but it's just like the Western world is so indoctrinated in this monogamous lifestyle. Like, you can't even think about something like that. You know what I mean? Like, okay, you could give your last name to, to somebody. You can be faithful, do all that stuff. But then if I, you just tell her, like, yeah, babe, I thought about it. You know what I mean? You ain't doing nothing. It's just like, how would she feel about that? I just feel like, you know, if the relationship is good, everything is good. Like, I wouldn't honestly care. Like, if she did, you know, it is what it is. Like. I don't care about his face, but it's my dick, though, right? Like, is it both different? Mm-hmm. Is everything different? You know what I mean? Now, that's something different. How do you think about that? Maybe it's just the face. Like, I don't mind that. But, like, if you're thinking about, but how would you know unless it's somebody you did have so, sex with? So, let me ask you this question, then, Ali. Hmm. So, what if she started? What do you think? Hmm, man. We're about to have some conversation. So, <laughs> <what>? <laughs> You fried. <laughs> so... Okay, so what if she, so what if you guys were engaged in mm-hmm. the act and she starts like we like about to get married engaged or are we about to No, have y'all engaged in the oh, act, the oh. actual act, like sexual act. Uh-huh. And she's trying to climax and mm-hmm. she starts seeing somebody that she used to deal with and she's like kissing and all the different acts that they did mm-hmm. because in that present moment you might not be how getting I, her to that point. How would I know? You all I would be thinking is, oh, she trying some different shit. Kudos to Bay for trying some different shit. Okay. You know, what like at, just don't say no name, cause that's a crazy thing. Like just don't say no name. Like you can. How would I know if you imagine somebody in your head? Do what you got to do. Like at the end of the day, if we the goal of sex is to fucking produce children. If we not doing that, the second goal is get your nut. Now, it's unfortunate for women that y'all can't get your nut. It ain't my job. I mean, okay, take it back. It kind of is my job, but then it ain't because, like, the job is to, you know, produce children. So, like, it's you don't need to come to produce children. You do know, I mean, you know that. But, yeah, so, but now since we not producing children, it's to get satisfaction for you and me. I can get my nut if we just keep going and that tip get hit. Eventually, I'm going to get mine. We got to focus on you. And if, you know, you got to go back in your memory bank to, you know, unfortunately somebody else. Like, if I can get you there, that's dope. But, like, it's okay for every once in a while to be like, damn, how would it be like to fuck Tarzan? Babe, just start yelling, ooh, ah. And I was just like, ooh, ah. I'll do some shit. Like, I don't give a fuck. Do what you got to do. Now, Let me see them eyes roll back. Now, we've been in relationships for a long time. You got something there? We've been in relationships for a long time. What about role playing? Does that count? Because we role play. Oh yeah, that's the I same have a thing. whole different name during role play. She has a whole different name during role Clean play. Clean jeans? Huh? <laughs> Clean <laughs> jeans. <laughs> that's your, that's, I'm Jabari <laughs> actually. Okay. Jabari. Yo, that's but nice. one time we wasn't really in role play mode, and she said Jabari. Mm. Yeah, that kind of fucked me up. That had me like, now I'm in. I'm gonna beat your ass. Why? But it's. But true. I'm not gonna beat your ass physically. Now I'm going to punish the pussy. Mm-hmm. Excuse me, I'm getting a little too graphic, but there that's the thing. And that, that, that's when I spoke to someone personally about it. They're like, well, that's what y'all do. That's yeah. your gimmick. That's your yeah. role play. You Keep shouldn't spicy. feel some type of insecurity. But it's like, all right, well, at that moment, we wasn't discussing role play. But Jabari is a character in the bedroom that is much more aggressive. Maybe she knows that that's. What excites you so she can get you to do what she needs you to do to satisfy Then that's what that's the advice. Did she yeah. calling you Jabari? Did that bring out Jabari? Aggressive. It threw me off. Like, Who the fuck is Jabari? Right. Oh, yeah. Dev, Dev got something to say. He, he's. I, I, was, I was more breathing hotter. Her explanation and her calling you the wrong name. You know what I'm saying? That was disrespectful. <laughs> I'm, I'm got to give dudes a cheat code real quick. I, if I forgot to bring this up when y'all asked about the uh, the the. Um, uh, fantasizing about other people. This is the cheat code, fellas. All right? If you've never done it, try it out. I'm telling you it works. If you find yourself getting lost in your thoughts about maybe somebody, you know, somebody at work, somebody ain't got no business, whatever the case may be, 
Find somebody on whatever your favorite porn site or sites is. It's going to take a while. Might take you 30, 45, hour, 15 minutes. Search through the videos. Find you a close enough replica to that person. Get you one off. I'm telling you, it does the trick. So you'll, you'll, it tricks your brain into being like. But it's not my penis. But I released to the, to the like visual thought or like yeah. you're feeling that pleasure and you 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 like have tricked yourself that you're looking at that person. Yes. It works. I'm just saying. It, I, I it might seem crazy. <laughs> it might seem collection plate, I would send it around right now. That man is preaching. It might right seem now. crazy, but try it. You'll start knocking people off your list and like, who okay. I ain't gotta worry about it. you can go yep. back to work. Hey, how you doing, <laughs> Susie Chilly? You, you Dev low dollar over there. I'm just t- giving dudes a cheat code. Try it out one time. Ladies, it might work for y'all too. You know what I'm saying? But y'all got to probably have like dildo situations with y'all when y'all doing it. You know what I'm saying? Who said? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Our hands work just fine. Uh, but like just do. visualize the person that might be, you know what I mean, got you a little off kilter and boom, rub one out like a gentleman. Yo, yeah, man, it's preaching right there. I, I, I understand that logic right there. But. Are you we standing are. in the room now? <laughs> <laughs> but we are past our time. I think we had a great show tonight, though. We loosened up and everything. I mean, it did get real political in the beginning, which it needs to be sometimes. Mm-hmm. Right. I do wonder, though, because a couple of weeks ago, y'all did a show without me. I couldn't make it and everything. If Ali wouldn't make it, would you do a show with me? We talked about that today. That's crazy. We literally did. And I was yeah. like, because I was... Like, my back is really, like, tight right now, and I was thinking about just... And he told me, he said, you'll be all right. You'll have Elliot and Big Dad. Okay. And Mo. Right. I got you. Yeah. All right. Like, I I already said it. And if Chief wasn't making it... Yeah, we... Okay, that was just a concern. Oh, that's not going to (laughs) happen. No, I think we do need the the estrogen sometimes, though. We definitely need a female's point of view. Of course Your perspective is valued. Be always insightful. Um, oh, so he answered the question, right? Because I just wanted to make sure, because you know sometimes he skate. Wait, 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 wait. I'm trying to think. Hold on, wait. Did what was he? the question? Yeah. Again? What was it, though? It was something about... Uh, Did you fantasize and bring up somebody else? Yeah. Oh, wow. Nigga, yeah. Look at that, trying to wrap it uh-huh. up. Uh-huh. Um, yo, I, I played the playback reel from time to time in the past and everything like that. You know, my eyes going low and everything, talking, mumbling my answer. Yo, I've I've fantasized. I, I've watched too much porn. I've desensitized myself when it comes to sex, and that's facts. That's, that's what it is. That's man. what it like. Whether you're engaged with that person, your mind can start to wander after fifteen to twenty minutes, and now you're fantasizing about y'all doing it in <laughs> some weird place. Like, oh, well, we're in the car, and then you play back. Oh, last time I was in the car, I did it like this, and then facts. before you know it, now you are having sex with this person. They're getting the energy from from a past experience, great sexual performance that you may have put on. So, yeah, I've done it. I, I was going to say about the um, it being desensitized. I had a conversation with my friend. I'm not going to say any names, but um, they purchased the rose. And I don't know if you guys know what the rose is. Um, but if you ever see your wife with the rose, just know that your mouth is not working right, oh, okay? I know what that is. So, I know what that is. No, um, I, that is. No, I don't, but I would, like, no, that's say, something I would still buy the rose, though. Yeah. Like, you know what yeah. it is? No, I don't know what it is, but, Oh, yeah. it's just like a, it's like a rose, and then it got, like, a little, little tongue in the middle. Okay. Well, anyways, one of but my... But, yo, you can use the rose with, with your own mouth, right? You can put the rose there, and then you be eating the top of the clip, licking the top of the clip while you got the rose doing the middle part. I yeah. think we just went straight <laughs> X-rated, like yo, because yo, we lit, <laughs> <laughs> we lit. You know what I mean? I ain't got no problem being Ben Midler. A whole nother level. I'm like, I'm old as shit for that Ben Midler re- reference, but um, yo. But anyway, so a friend rose, of mine Diana got Ross. this, and basically, um, they're having reactions afterwards, like hours and hours and hours later. No coming. Kind of, sort of, yes. That's fire, then. And, yeah, that's fire. Good um, job, fire. Kudos. But the thing is, is that when you get into an actual sexual encounter with another human, it's going to take you longer because mm. you're going to be craving the same thing from that toy. Yeah. And you're not getting it from that person. So yeah, it's like that. that 18 I've... to 40 minute thing. It was 40 minutes. 
it's going to take you. you. I went back and looked at it, so I correct myself. So it's going to take you a little longer to actually get to that point because even with watching pornos, like you watching mm-hmm. a porno, you skip it through two, three minutes afterwards, doing whatever you do, rubbing it the right way, flicking your hands a certain way. You've reached your point. And so it's like, okay, I, it, you're expecting the same thing. So you become desensitized to it. So how, and I was asking her like, what's the recommendation? Because she's like, I'm doing it for 30 minutes. And I'm like, uh, I don't think you should Damn, be preheating the oven. Huh? <laughs> doing that for 30 long, minutes. You know time. what I mean? <laughs> So now it's like when you get engaged, it's going to be. It's not. Yeah. Oh, wow. Right. That's, that's yeah. where I think a toy like that is supposed to be a mutual toy. Like you and your partner use it together mm-hmm. because if not, then yeah, no matter how nice you, you mean, are like you use it on her and not like you use it on yourself. I mean, if it's rose work on my balls, and I don't know, I've never seen it, but I, I'm willing to put it on my balls. No, I thought you were talking. Yeah, <laughs> I, mean, I hope that's there. there. <laughs> but I, I got to see what this rose looks like, cause it's like a rose with a little red tongue in the middle. Can you put it on your balls? Are you curious? Go on Amazon. You know, I got this thing the called ball jacuzzi. It's like a ball jacuzzi. You put your balls. Big Dev, you kind jacuzzi. of a freak. <laughs> 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 I fuck with this guy. I love him, man. He's amazing. Would you buy the... Okay, I'm going to ask both of y'all. Mo, too. Because you, you, you kind of, like, got the porn look, too. Would y'all buy the rose and put it on your balls if you see that it's doing something to you? I'm not buying it and putting it on my own balls, no. No, uh, you don't. <laughs> but when I say she put it on your balls, you're like... If we was messing did? around in our own little space or whatever, she might have... Dropped it or something down there. She had to pick it up. I mean, now she dropped it. Oh, what did you do there? (laughs) Hands got a little slippery. (laughs) It lifted the legs. What did you do there? (laughs) (laughs) They're all gonna laugh at you. Yo, we wild, man. Me and my wife, we are, man. Jeez, that's why I got married. We only knew each other almost a year. We did some things, and it was like, oh, I see. I get it. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, yeah. I don't know what we'll do with that rose, but we're going to find out. We're going to buy a bouquet tonight. I have felt, you know, the answer is yes. But have you ever felt like your girl got like a, a, a vibrator on her? Her cl- like mm-hmm. the vibrator in the middle of sex is a, is a hell of a good feeling. So I don't know if, if the rose vibrates like a vibrator. You know what I mean? Is it just the suction on the clit? Like what does the thing? What does it do? I don't that, know. What that it does. I'm not sure. I don't know. About if it's that. just a suction on the clit, then I probably wouldn't feel. You know. Yeah. But if it's like but if it's doing vibrating, a, doing a little licky thing too yeah. with the little <laughs> roll, like the y'all nasty. Y'all need to go to church. Y'all know what the worst invention is? Is that cock ring thing? The thing that you wrap around your dick and it's supposed to have a little vibrator there, that's horrible. Like, mm. that shit, no, uh, don't that's ever about purchase it. it. So, <laughs> Mia, Mia says, and she's in the comments, she says, it's amazing. So, the guys would like to know, well, what does it do? Um, so, my friend keeps at telling me and our other friend that we need to invest in one and get it. And I'm just like, I don't want to be desensitized. Like, that's the whole thing. Like, I was desensitized because I was watching a lot of videos and it was just like convenient so naturally i have to get my mind wrapped back around to you know what i mean the actual act itself happening instead of visually seeing other people and other devices so understandable Ms. definitely so miss lashawn you gonna have to write that in the message now or in a dm because we are about to close it out oh i did have one thing to say okay though. go ahead go ahead go ahead. because we was talking about the, the 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 he said something about the vibrator thing so we went to the store we went to i was about to say amazon what's the thing called Am- ambiance mm-hmm. and they have the thing where you put it inside of the pocket of your panty yeah yeah they also that, yeah. give you some panties to put on. Well, my brain panties. Yes. I fire. Love that. And the clicker. Mm-hmm. Well, this happened mm-hmm. at a family dinner. Yeah. Hey, it's so crazy. Is you my <laughs> <listening> to our <laughs> conversation? So we were at a family dinner and you just see him sitting there talking to his dad and he's like this. Mm hmm. And I'm just you know, caught off guard. Oh, you had it on? Yes. Wow. 
And so his mom was like, somebody's phone is vibrating. <laughs> Yo. Somebody's phone's vibrating. Where's the phone? And it has different levels to it. Yeah. I said, please. It works. Does it work? Yo, they, they got the one that's like maybe like $200. <laughs> That you can like be in a different city or something like that, and it works. Like that's it works. Too. That's what I'm saying. That's dope. Like to have that and tell your girl, like, look, you gonna put these on. We about to go out to a nice restaurant. I'm gonna use this whenever. You just gotta control mm-hmm. yourself. That's some that's shit. not a thing that you need because when you take turn the thing off, it's leaving lasting sensations. That's not my problem to deal with that shit. So <laughs> on that note, I want y'all to follow me on Instagram at just underscore Ali 216 it's been a dope show we appreciate y'all before we leave out let's see a lot of hearts and likes help with the algorithm because that definitely will show us some likes though I don't know you know I'm getting tired likes and hearts we appreciate it where can they find y'all um go ahead Elliot you can find me on Facebook Elliot Groover and on Instagram Milk Table Poppy Milk table. <laughs> I'm telling y'all that milk day. That's about to let Mo know. <laughs> yeah, avid community member of the milk pot. Oh Lord, have mercy. Um, you guys can follow me on Instagram at Letitia Pittman Official. <sighs> Please follow our group also at the LTC Uncut. What can they do those three things? Follow, like, and share. All right, y'all. Did you tell them about where you can follow them? Where they can follow you? Yeah, I just did my yeah. work. Got it. Okay. So we're closing out things. Your words. Uh, focus on yourself until the focus is on you. Take it easy, but don't get taken easy. I don't have nothing to say, y'all. Just make sure you tune in. <laughs> you know, y'all. I'm, no. I'm out of here. <laughs> Got no, the vibrator on now. Right. No, I don't. <laughs> She's that right. <laughs> <laughs> no, y'all just, 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 just. Be easy. All right. We'll see you guys next time. Make sure you tune in. Don't be late and tell your family and friends about it, but not the kids. This is 18 and oh, Is that right? Can I say 18 and over? Is that adult age? Okay. 18. <laughs> I'm just saying. You talking about R. Kelly earlier. <laughs> so <laughs> the show is for 18 and over. So please. Um, tell your family and friends to tune in to the Lunchtime Chronicles. We will be back. We have to have a conversation about when we're going to come back, but um, make sure you tune in. I'll post it. And if you'd like to be a guest on the show, just send me a DM, any one of us really a DM, but it has to be about business only. Um, yeah. So on that note, thank you so much for tuning in to the LTC Uncut. I'm Tisha. I'm Elliot. I'm Ali. And we out. Let's go. It's the Chronicle. You're live with Tisha, Ali, and Elliot. We here. Yes, we are. Let's go. Y'all ready? Hey. Hey. Let's get it.